Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanabu, a business applications MVP and Microsoft certified trainer. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss about what is the difference between a drop down and a combo box, when we should use which control, what are the advantages, limitations, and various other advanced properties of both the controls in detail. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, this is the best time to subscribe to get all the updates and learn best practices in Power Platform. Before we dive into the app, let us examine the output. In this example, I am taking a SharePoint list which has more than 200k records. I wanted to show how I can show the items as part of a combo box and items as part of the drop down. In Power Apps, drop down can maximum show only 500 items. If it is more than 500, it will show a message stating that it reached the maximum limit, which we will see in a while. But in case of combo box, it can show the items up to the app limit. Also, it can look beyond the app limit. Example, now if I search with GUI LL, this pulls out all the full names of the employee where the name starts with GUI LL across my 215k records. Now, if I select this here, my record item ID is 20,827. Now, if I go here, it is 34,000, 49,000, 55,000. But whereas if I see in a drop down at the max, I can select only one item. I cannot select more than one item. Also, there is no way I can search if my user is beyond this 500 items. Let us examine each and every property and see the behavior of these two controls in detail in the macro portal. Before we look at the app, this is my SharePoint list where I have 215k 243 records in my SharePoint list. Coming back to app. Under app, my data source is pointing to the very same list where I have 215k records. The first difference is item limit between a dropdown and a combo box. In a dropdown, I can show only maximum 500 items. Under my app setting, if I increase my data row limit to 1000, as soon as you make the changes at the data row limit at the app level, first step is save the app close the app and reopen the app to see the data row limit change at the app level. Now I have closed the app and reopened the app. Now if I play the app and go all the way down, see the warning, maximum number of items reached. Whereas if I go to combo box, it won't show any message as such. In fact, it will load thousand records because now my app row limit is thousand. When I look at my SharePoint list, blue Tamika is my 500th row, whereas Lindgren Frederick is thousandth row. So when you are operating with large data set and you are intended to show as part of a dropdown for a user to select, never use a dropdown, always go with a combo box. Difference number two, when you add a dropdown, in Power Apps, by default, allow empty selection property of the dropdown will come as false. Let us see that. When I add a dropdown, look at the property allow empty selection, by default it is false. What is that means is, if I want to say my dropdown should not have any value, there is no way I can say my selection as false. Unless I say true. And now if I go and deselect, it will let me make my dropdown as blank. But whereas in combo, by default, I can unselect my selections. Because when I am selecting in combo, as soon as I select, I can deselect my selections in combo box. User require a selection and deselection. The best guy is a combo box. When you add a combo box, you can select and unselect without adding any additional property changes. Difference number three, when you add a dropdown, there is no way user will know what is this dropdown is all about. I cannot write a user-friendly text to 
intimate the user what is this drop down is all about but whereas for a combo box i can set the property as input text placeholder as search name if i want to rename that as i just modified it to provide full name the very same thing i can see as an interactive message when user running the app what is this control is all about difference number 4 in a drop down there is no way i can make my user to select more than one item but whereas i can make my combo box as single select or multi select how i can do that is for a combo box under advanced property there is a property called select multiple if i say false for this property my combo box will behave as good as my drop down however a maker can switch this property from false to true to enable multi selection on my combo box difference number 5 if my selected full name of the employee is not in the drop down there is no way i can select the user from the drop down because there is no way i can show beyond 500 items in a drop down but whereas in the combo i can enable a property called search again under advanced property is searchable when i say true i can in fact define my search against what columns i can search against more than one column to see the result as part of my list of items i see under my combo box which means if i want to see a list item beyond 1000 records because the row limit for the app has been defined as 1000 but i know my user may go beyond 1000 records so that time i can change my items by providing my search criteria and items property how i can do that is when i say locket it will replace my items with all the employees where the first name is starting with locket if you notice here my result set has item id beyond 100k records the item id of this selected record is 100k002 if i select the last record of my list items now this record item id is 166 which means my items under this combo box is going beyond 1000 records limit how i can do that is if you go to the items property of my combo box i can always say what is my result set of this drop down if i say that start name with the selected search text where is the search text by default combo box comes with the search when you enable search so self dot search text is starting with the full name or title which is the id of the employee if my search criteria is falling between those two columns i can change my items which are part of my drop down now i can see all the full names of the users where the user name is starting with locket if i change my search criteria to some other username say like jod it automatically changes my list items which i am intended to see as part of my combo box get changed because i am changing my items of the combo box as per the search criteria provided as part of the search text box if i want to search again as my gallery i want to enable my search only after 10 items so this search will search again as these records now if i see can see the search how quickly i am able to search the last difference is restrict the number of selections in the combo box this is the very frequently asked question in the community now i have selected 12 items as part of my combo box but the client want to restrict the user to select only four items how i can achieve that is on change of this combo box i can add a 
if condition as if my self dot selected items is less than five. What is this collection? This is the collection I am building as soon as user select an item as part of the combo box and I'm showing that as part of my gallery. So if my count is less than five, then only I will add. If not, I will show a message stating that you cannot select more than four items. Let us see what it shows. Now, if I select fourth item, I don't get any error message. But whereas if I select fifth item, it started showing me a message stating that you cannot select more than five items. So my gallery is showing only the four items. But whereas if I deselect any one of them, it is automatically going out of the gallery because I'm reconstructing my collection. There you go. This is how I can make my app more efficient by using a combo box rather than using a drop down. The next question then why and where we could use a drop down drop down is a best friend when you have a defined number of items as part of the drop down example whether it is a gender male female or whether you are interested to relocate to a different location yes or no as long as your drop down items is less than five items drop down is the best guy if you are list of items as part of the drop down is more than five items i advise you to go to combo box because that will give you a flexibility to search against the list of items we see as part of the drop down i hope you enjoyed and learned the difference between the drop down and a combo box and when to use which control in power apps if you like the video hit like add your comments here is my contact information if you have any suggestions for any new video feel free to reach me i'm highly available in linkedin and twitter thank you for your time have a nice day